Hello online pipe community, Ethan, Parsimonious Piper here. Today we've got another Parsimonious Pipe. Before I get into the pipe, let's talk about what's in it. In it, I am smoking this week's Blend of the Week Peterson Irish Flake. We'll talk about it Tuesday. I am a couple of days behind on videos, but I am not a couple of days behind on smoking this blend. I have been smoking this blend last few days revisiting it. It's a good blend. Let's talk about today's pipe. Today's pipe is a pipe by Lee. Big surprise there. Three star. A uh, paneled poker. You can see it is a sitter. It, and it's not really paneled, paneled. It's beveled. Look at this. It's got hard to get that at just the right angle toward the camera. It has a bevel here and here. And then the, fr the front is, or the sides rather, are flat, not round. You can see that a little better from the top. Let's take a closer look. This pipe had a thin layer of grime around the stummel and cleaning that up with some soap, Murphy's Oil Soap did a nice job on that. Now you will notice the before and after pictures of the stem. The stars are only very slightly visible in the after picture. I knew this was a risk I was going to run trying to get this stem clean. It was oxidized a little bit, but it had these deep, uh, I couldn't tell if it was paint or something else, but it seemed to actually be in the plastic, which meant that I was gonna have to do a little bit of sanding. And it was either clean up the stem or keep the stars. Well, these stars, these are the old five point stamped stars. And I figured if I, I didn't do any real buffing that they would still be faintly visible. And in fact, in the bottom picture, they are still very faintly visible. So if anybody needs proof that it was in fact a three point or a three star uh, pipe, it, it's there. Here's a closer look at exactly what happened there. What I wound up doing was just soaking this a little bit in the Briarville oxidation remover. It turns out that these stars didn't have that none of what was left in there was actually paint um, when I, I looked closer it was just accumulated wax from having over buffed this stem to begin with and what we're left with is matte black i think i've got another picture that actually shows um it because of the lighting shows the stars still there a little bit better from the bottom, you can see a little bit more of that deep staining in the stem, but you can also see the beveling on this. It's an interesting cut. I can only guess because it's a really non-standard unusual thing that they uh, cut out a pit or some other flaw in the uh, briar and then cut it on the other side just for symmetry uh, or some such nonsense. Uh, at any rate, it does make it an unusual and, and unique shape. The rim did require some attention here. As you can see, it had quite a bit of lava. Most of that cleaned off pretty well. Little bit of charring left on the inside of the rim mostly, but a little bit too on the front and left uh, side where I'm guessing flame was probably uh, applied on relights. But overall, that cleaned up fairly nicely without choosing to go in and, and bevel uh, the inside of that bowl. This one came slightly overclocked. I had trouble getting the after picture focused exactly where I wanted it, but you can at least see that we got that straightened out. Internals on this one were not terribly bad to begin with. Uh, just need a little light cleanup. This picture does show in the bottom, uh, if you look carefully, uh, you can still see the three stamped stars uh, at this angle. The light plays into them just a little bit. Now, normally I wouldn't pay 37 and change for a pipe where the stars were almost gone to begin with, but this is such an unusual shape. And I don't know if you can see that. This one side just has some lovely swirls of bird's eye and on the bottom as well. Some nice, uh, very nice grain pattern. It was just unusual. A shape I'd never seen before, had to have it. That's what happens when you have pad. And where Pipe by Lee comes, I've got it bad. All right, 
Next subject, Scoundrel's Stuff is having a giveaway. Link will be down below so you can drop by his channel and check him out. Please do not enter me in the drawing. Too much crap as it is. However, I did want to answer your question because it's another one of those probing, um, I don't mean, you know, deep psychological probing. I mean, just it's one of those, those little questions we ask each other to learn more about each other. And that is outside of piping, what are your hobbies? Well, I like to read. I like to read a lot. I have not read any fiction in a very long time. Uh, I have focused mostly on uh, Christian apologetics, uh, theology, and biography in recent years. Um, I play the piano. Love playing the piano. I play the piano for uh, various church-type functions. congregationals, choirs, solos, that sort of thing. I, I've uploaded a couple of pieces. Um, not not a whole lot. Uh, I like to brew beer. I am a home brewer. I'm not a full mash, serious, hardcore brewer. We have a couple of those in our midst. No, I, I'm a partial mash. Um, it's just so much easier. Probably the other hobby that I indulge myself in is uh, my little sport car, my Miata. I love to hit the back roads with the top down and stereo up. Used to do it on a motorcycle. I still have a bike, but I, boy, I just don't ride it. Not now that I've got the Miata. Mm, that's just a fun little car. Zoom, zoom. Seriously, zoom, zoom. They're fantastic little vehicles. Well, I hope that satisfies your curiosity. Folks, play along with him. Let him know what you do and help further the getting to know each other aspect of our community. Well, folks, we will have a YouTube Piper's Care this weekend. I'm just, like I said, I'm a couple days behind. So that'll be tomorrow or Sunday. Until then, light something you like. Enjoy your afternoon.